Nasdaq E-mini futures on the daily chart. We had some trouble getting up above this cluster, 14,600. We also made a video with this chart a couple days ago. This continues to sell to the downside. It wasn't able to get up above that cluster of resistance. Taking a quick look at the flexible grid. Now, I already talked about Adobe. You guys can go through that chart. I still think that there's some shorting opportunities in this one that hasn't taken off through the races to the downside. Let's take a quick look over at Apple. Let's see if we can find some good shorting opportunities here. Now, if you look on this chart with a series of higher highs and higher lows. Now, if you jump down to an hourly chart, now we get to see some trouble that is looming because prices are starting to break through that 200 moving average on the hourly chart. I like to take some opportunities to look for some symmetry resistance on the way back down. Let's take a quick look at this pullback to the upside and compare it. So this one right here is very similar in dollar amount move. Okay, let's find another pullback to the upside before decline. Over here, I found another pullback. This was a very similar in dollar amount. Drawing some trend lines from that pivot low to pivot high. If I hover over this, this is a change of $8.93. And over here, this is a change of $9.01. In addition, I can do another pull. Doing this pull provides me with a retracement of 382. So that's my three price relationship with Apple on the hourly chart. What I'm looking for is a trigger to go short on the 15 minute time frame. If you'd like to learn how to find high probability setups using Fibonacci analysis, check out my course in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, subscribe now. Hit that notification button. Our first goal is a thousand subs. We go over cryptocurrencies as well as US equities. Love to hear from you in the comments area. Talk to you soon.